to make sure. Okay, now we have a question. Um, question number five, part B, B1. Okay, 5B part 1, not 5B part I, as some people say. The I is a Roman numeral. It's actually a number. Anyway, um, we have to, in this question, show that this algebraic equation, okay, uh, simplifies to this quadratic equation. Uh, the way we do that is to get rid of the fraction, in which there are two ways we can do that. One way we can do that is to make this into one fraction on the left side by combining these two fractions together, adding them together, okay, and then doing some cross multiplication. Another way we could do that is to find the LCM of all the denominators and multiply each term by, you know, the LCM, in which case all the fractions would disappear. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it by making this into one fraction first. Now, to make this into one fraction, um, basically, I'll show you the basic method that um, corresponds to what you learn when you're doing fractions in normal numbers. Okay, just don't be afraid. What we've got here is exactly the same as a fraction when you add fractions together. If you know how to add fractions together, you're going to be doing exactly the same thing. There's no, no reason to be afraid of this. Okay, so what we have is these two numbers, 2x plus 11 and x minus 4. Um, the LCM of these two numbers is going to be basically the product of them here. 2x plus 11 times x minus 4. So I'm going to write a pair of equivalent fractions, okay, which have the same denominator. Okay, so I want to make them have the same denominator because then I can add them or subtract them. Okay, just like when you have, for example, a half plus a third and you want to add them together, you're going to say, okay, let's make them into the same denominator, which is going to be 6 in this case, and then you continue in the same way. So we do the same thing here. Now, in this case, what would you do is say, okay, a half is something over 6. Well, what is it over 6? You say, all right, what do I multiply by the 2 to give me the 6? I have to multiply by 3. Therefore, I have to multiply the numerator by 3 as well. Exactly the same here. So, okay, this fraction, okay, is going to be exactly the same as this fraction. All right, so what did I do? I multiplied the denominator by x minus 4, so I have to multiply the numerator also by x minus 4. They are equivalent fractions. And same for the next fraction here. It was 1 over x minus 4. The denominator has been multiplied by 2x plus 11, so I must multiply the numerator, which has got 1 there, times multiplied by 2x plus 11. No need to write the 1 there. Okay. And on the other side, I have a half. So now I can actually write this as 1 fraction under 1 denominator, because they have the same denominator. Just like here, of course, 1 third will be 2 6. Then I can write this as, oh, this is like 1 denominator. Then I can add the numerators together. So the same thing I can do here, okay? So I can say 2x plus 11 times x minus 4. And now I can actually add these together. Now I'm going to be careful. I'm going to, off oh, by the way, I'm going to be careful here because of this minus sign. When you see a minus sign between them, you've got to be very careful. Okay? A lot of people, they miss out a step and they mess up their answer. So you have 2x. Okay, so I've got 2 times x minus 2 times 4, which is minus 8. Now, I'm not going to expand this one until I've written it out first. Because of that mistake, that's very common. Now, when I multiply this by minus 1, I have 2x minus 8, and I'm going to have minus 2x minus 11. Both the 2x and the 11 become negative because there's a minus multiplying by both of them. Some people, they write down this next line, they say minus 2x plus 11. And they'll write it as two, minus 2x plus 11, missing out the fact there's a minus sign here. So you've got to be very careful about that. And that's over 2x plus 11 times x minus 4, and that's equal to a half. And what's going to happen here, you've got 2x minus 2x, which is 0, and minus 8 minus 11, which is a negative 19. So you've got here negative 19 divided by 2x plus 11 times x minus 4, the other bracket, and that's equal to 1 over 2. Now we can cross multiply. We can multiply both sides by 2, basically, to get rid of this half, right? 
And I can also multiply both sides by 2x plus 1, x minus 4 to get rid of this fraction. So the 2 goes up there, basically. You've got minus 19 times 2 equals, and you've got 1 times this bracket, okay, which I'll write it just so you can see, 2x plus 11 times x minus 4. Now this gives you minus 38, minus 38, and this gives you 2x squared. When you expand the bracket, you've got 2x times, one, times x, which is 2x squared, then 2x times minus 4, which is minus 8x, and then 11x times, sorry, 11 times x, which is plus 11x, and then 11 times minus 4, which is minus 44. Okay, so now what we can do is, as you see, it says 2x squared plus 3x minus 6. We want to bring everything to one side, okay? So let's just keep 0 on this side. I've got 2x squared, and I have minus 11 plus 8, uh, minus h plus 11, which gives you plus 3x, and you have minus 44 plus 38. Minus 44 plus 38, which is minus 6. So we've proved that we get 2x squared plus 3x minus 6 equals 0. Okay? And done. Okay? Now, close that.